Uh, let's sit you down here. Jitney, Jitney, no. Oh, I said Jitney. You're all right, chap. Uh, how are you feeling, Mr. Holmes? <laughs> My back, Doctor. It's killing me. Oh. After all, you well, do have a broken spine. Is there really? anything you can do for him, Doctor? I'm afraid not, Dorothy. Whenever one of my regular patients breaks his spine, I usually put them to sleep. You can put him to sleep? Put him to sleep? But that's no. horrible! No, 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 Precisely. I reckon just shoot him. So what the farmer does, it saves a lot of time to put them Shoot up. him? Oh, heavens no, you got to shoot me like I'm an animal. Wait, no. That's what we get for calling Dr. Doolittle. That's right, you. you. Know, Mr. Holmes, I think I can fix your spine with just a few drops of glue. Oh, sure. It's going to take a whole lot more than just glue to mend this back, do I think? I'm not going to put glue on your back. I'm going to put glue on your book. Hey, like well, I guess that makes sense. There you go. Anything? Oh. It's a good thing those girls can't with the glue that blonde in second. Set is something to be glad about. Oh. See? See? I feel better already. Are you sure? You shouldn't rush such delicate things like this. Let the glue dry. Oh, yes. In fact, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm quite back to normal. Yes. Yay! I knew you'd get well. It's not a moment too soon. What do you mean by this? It's not a moment too soon. Didn't you hear? Haven't you been paying attention? Yes. The necklace is missing. And if it isn't back in that book by the time those villains return, they're going to destroy all of our books. Yes. Oh, no, no. I don't want my sign to be a brush. It's worse than that, Heidi. Much worse than that. Those scoundrels are liable to tear us out page by page. No one will ever be able to put us back together. Not a million gorillas. You're not all the king's worse than all the king's men. But you can't be smart to get the necklace back from the police. Aha! There's the rub. The smart man never gave the necklace to the police. She never had it in the first place. Then what happened to it? Yeah. Well, I can't say for certain. But I suggest we question the one creature whom we all know to be a thief. Ha! Ah, Marina! Stop! We want to talk to you! Stop! You're scaring her! Let me talk to her! Excuse me, I speak fluent cat. I love <laughs> Oh, please tell her I adore her collar. Tell her she is the sweetest thing ever. Yes, tell her I'm glad she belongs to us, Margie. And then we get to see her all the time. Tell her to stop with that cat dinner, or I'm so allergic. Oh, just <laughs> tell her we're looking for a diamond necklace. Yes, precisely, my good man. Home the arena. Meow, 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 meow. Tell her if we don't find the necklace by the time those thugs get back, they'll destroy all the books. Meow, meow, meow. Meow. <laughs> What, yeah. what is it? What is she saying? Does she know about the necklaces? She says she doesn't have the necklace. Ask her so she's laid eyes on it anywhere. That must jog her memory in some way. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow. She says she hasn't seen it either. No! Oh. The scurvy beast won't tell you. Make her walk the plane, Captain. Walk the plane? No, Captain. She can't tell us where the necklace is that she stole. What? She stole? Shiver me timbers, you slimy sea urchin! I stole the necklace! It for I! Anything for me lying around the deck belongs to the captain. Every bloke knows that be the truth of the code. Hand it over. No! I say be done with her and make her walk the plank! But look, but we don't have a plank, we're in a bookshop. Open oh, her head! What is she doing here? I dare say! You frightened her off! I mean, just as well. Bombarina would never steal the necklace. It's not like her to steal something so valuable. Mm. What happened to it? Uh, I, I don't know. Oh. It, it must be around Maybe here somewhere. Maybe she hid the barn. I'll bet she hid around here somewhere. Precisely. Oh, good point, lad. If we all spread out, we one of us is sure to find it. Yes. What? Chopped off everyone's head. Huh. I say we chop off their heads, then make them walk the plank. Uh, Afraid is a physical impossibility, my good man. Well, someone ought to lose a head. You know, uh, um, I think the sound about your preoccupation with right. violence could be a sign of something a little more serious. Would you stop by my office next week? Uh, wait, aren't you an animal doctor? Indeed, I most certainly am. Well, do I look like an animal to you? Well, you don't seem to be human either. <laughs> of course I'm not human, you quack. I'm a playing card. 
Hey, then you know what kind of doctor you need to be seeing, don't you? What else? A cardiologist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. Mr. Holmes, is he trying to No, the vertebral treasure trove with the pilfered items are on the cat bed. Again! <laughs> up, but we're in service for the king. <laughs> I, the king of the me of a hunt in which our entire worlds are engaged. If we are looking for Snow White, count me in. 
for she is truly the fairest in all the land. Oh, yes! <laughs> 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 It would do you some good to read this. <laughs> Try beginning in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. It is not to hunt for a fair maiden or any person, but to hunt for a necklace of great value. Right there. A necklace? What does the king? <laughs> what does he want with the necklace? Waste of time. What would I do with a necklace? Any fair man would love a necklace. This necklace, it is said to have great value and magical powers. It is said it will keep us alive forever. Oh, and where do we find this necklace? Yes, my brother Aramis, where do we look? It is said it is to be right here, in this very room. But alas, we must look quickly. It's, it's almost daybreak. Then let us hunt quickly. Too. Oh, I just love that tactic. It scares everyone. <laughs> Put your little knives away. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm looking for something. We know who you're looking for. And she isn't here. Oh, I gave up looking for her long ago. Now that I know those slippers won't come off until she's dead, well, she's of no use to me until she's dead. I'm looking for something of greater value. A diamond necklace. I seem to have lost it. I sat it down for a spell and it vanished. Help me look. <laughs> I said, help me look, or I'll turn you into a flying monkey, and you into a, a rotting apple tree. And you, my little pretty, I'll turn you into a scarecrow and send you into a far-off remote land such as Kansas. <laughs> we do not serve you. We serve the king. I don't care who you serve. If I don't get my fairy tale ending, no one does. <laughs> and if I'm flying solo, at least I'm flying free. <laughs> Let her go. Now quickly, you three as well. No one mourns the wicked. <laughs> <laughs> Now get back on your bed and don't move. I'll lock the door. 
Ooh. It's a little early to be closing the shop, don't you think? Oh, what? No, no, not at all. Um, it's National Book Lovers Day, the day where people all over the country stay home and uh, read a book. Sounds like a, sounds like a pretty good idea. And I know just the book I'd like to read. It's a book about vegetables. <laughs> no, you don't want to read that book. How about um, Crime Never Pays? Crimes Against Punishment, How a Thief Never Prospers, or oh, how about the book with the Ten Commandments inside? Nah, it's got to be the one about vegetables. There's a recipe inside that I'm really interested in. You know, it involves a lot of ice. Hey, Eddie, I don't think ice is a vegetable. Oh, shut up, fingers. Look, book lady, you know why we see it. We ain't looking for a book. We are looking for what's inside. Now, either necklace is here, or it ain't. So what will that be, hmm? No, it's here. It's here, look. I put it here to, um, to keep it hidden, to keep it safe. Well, well, would you look at that? Book lady, she's smartened up and decided to give us a necklace after all. Well, of course. Why wouldn't I? It's not move. Come on, fingers, let's get out of here and give these rocks to the boss. Hey, Eddie, I thought you said we was looking for ice. We, uh, ice, rocks, they's all the same thing. You know, some days you don't make any sense. Yeah, well, that's why I like keeping you around. <laughs> <sighs> Lorena, that was a close one. I'm glad I didn't have a chance to put the necklace I bought in the book. I'm glad that's over, and I'll have a chance to finish, fix this Sherlock Holmes book. That's odd. It looks perfectly fine. I could have sworn those with them. Hey, what's the big idea? What do you mean? This ain't the real necklace. These rocks is fake. See, they fog up when I breathe on them. Now where's the real necklace? I told you I don't know. I never did. Try to pull back from all your well. We'll see about that. Which book should I start with, Eddie? No. Oh, it doesn't matter. Fingers, just pick one. No, please. How stop about this one, Mary Puppet? Yeah, whatever. Don't hurt it, please. Oh! What are you gonna tell us what the real necklace is? I don't know. I never did. Please, just let me go. Take another book, fingers. This one's got a funny name. Darn Quick City. <laughs> Take another one, fingers. Please don't. Oh, I know this one. Heidi! Hold you villainous rogue! No one heard of this! Hey, who are you? Who am I? Well, I am the greatest outlaw in all the land. Al Capone? <laughs> no, Robin of the Hood. Better known as Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this, Eddie. Who are all these people? Let's get out of here! No, we ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Not unless we get the real necklace. On second thought, uh, maybe we should get out of here. Not so fast, you big bullies. Quick, let's go, go the other way. I'm going to get you, my pretty you little friend, too. Now you're sent with. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Push me! Just behind my horse! What are you going to do now? Take them into the woods and feed them to the wolf! Yeah! Yeah! Put them in a cyclone! Make them walk the plane! Oh, put their hands! And then down the river with no food and water! We're walked up to the constable! Shut down to the whack house! Put them to sleep! Stay them up and shoot them! Good idea! I never thought I'd be glad to see you. Yeah, well, I'm not glad to see you. After this is all said and done, I'm getting those slippers back. As for you, we give up. We give, give up. up. Only if I had something to tie them up with. I got what you need right here, partner. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Thanks, Hoglon. You came just in the nick of time. I always come in the nick of time, little lady. I just wish the nick of time would have come a little earlier. Right. Don't want to. Oh, Officer Kitchen, it's right here. It has to 
Yes. 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 Well, gee, officer, I guess that means you'll have to let us go. Yeah, let us go! You don't have any evidence to hold against us. Well, where's the necklace that was in the book when Fagin picked the lock? Which one? Which one of you is Fagin? Hmm? Uh, right here, uh, Sam. I pulled the lock, I did. But I didn't get to keep the share of the goods. Uh, hey, Brian! I stole the necklace! I was walking around when I spotted me a nice treasure. And when I spot me a nice treasure, <laughs> I take it for myself. Ah, oh, Morris's treasure? How about you go and get set? Well, hmm? you see, me, I ain't got set. Oh, you ain't got set. That'd be right, I ain't got set. Oh, oh, well, I got back where to is my... it? Yes. I got back to my cabin in the middle of the night and were gone. Gone? Where did you put it? Someone doesn't just steal a necklace and then misplace it. Well, in the treasure room, of course, with all the other treasure, right next to the kitchen. Huh? The kitchen? A ship? And a pirate captain. Interesting. A necklace and a book taken by a pirate back to his ship. No, it wasn't you. Of course not. You! You smell a salty sea air. What? And what is this on your shoulder? A molten feather of a toucan. A half of a toucan. And the shoulder of a pirate captain. Oh. What were you doing along the of a ship? Yes. I don't know! We were hungry! We can't say a thing! <laughs> So therefore, you said the smell is heightened. And you can certainly smell the difference between a pirate and a passenger on the Titanic. Aye. And how can you tell the difference? Well, on the Titanic, you have your first class, your second class, and your steerage. Mm. On a pirate, you put them lower than their steerage, and they never obey. He's right. <laughs> so therefore, <laughs> you knew you were on that ship. Um, and that was shit up. Is it, is it all this necessary? How's about what you say? Who's got the necklace? That's what I'm getting at, chap. That's what it's All right. First, we discovered this suspicious book. Second, we discovered it was locked and Tokyo to make it and put the lock. Long John Silver admittedly stole the necklace that very day, just moments after we departed. Last number two, lifting the necklace from Long John, thinking she were on the Titanic, yet knowing she was on the black spot. Where are all the best treasure lie? Knowing she was. Knowing she was my to the Queen's tea party, having nothing of value to wear. Arriving late at the tea party, you suffered what you thought was your own death, wearing the whole diamond. This was a rather thing, you know. Thinking she could rid herself of the curse of the said diamond, she removed the necklace and pretended to the original talent container, the book with the lock. From there, you, the wicked witch from the west, entered down the staircase, and that you were not invited to the Queen's tea party, discovers the necklace, thinking it belongs to Galinda, seeks our revenge against her, and swipes. What happens to it then? I shall tell you! Oh, the wicked witch in the West striking into the Galinda offers her the necklace for the ruby slippers. Galinda, knowing the slippers are not just oh, come on. Oh, and Pope, we got weeping in all this blustering and bolted ash. Who's got the necklace? <laughs> 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 Who's got the necklace? <laughs> well, look, you see, we've all already six feet under. If someone doesn't cough up the real necklace. All right! I'll bring over and skip to the end. For this, I will need the assistance of the Musketeers Three. <gasps> All for one, and one for all! Now, how flights? You know what to do. Follow. Have you a confession to make? No, we should give her a fan chance. Now put it down. Down the stairs and to the stage. We shall judge thee there. <laughs> You have no choice. <laughs> 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 You were 
slide. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> I would tell the truth. And just hold on. Alright. I'll be taking over from here. See you now it's a good job. Stand by. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Alright. Now, what's your name? Oh, what brought you here tonight? Oh, on with it. I brought myself. Oh. <laughs> Is this your first time in the bookshop? Hmm? Oh, you read books much, do you? Nope, not much of a read. I should have guessed by the looks of you. <laughs> How'd you get the necklace? What was your planning to do with it, huh? Hmm? Give it to the poor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thankful I ain't, I'd return to my seat and think about what I've just done. <laughs> Here's a good book for you to read. Quest for character. It just meant... <laughs> <laughs> if I were you... Where's my... Hmm? I'll, read, I'll read this from cover to cover. There you go. All right, you're free to ski sk do. Go have a seat. <laughs> Ask that lady right there. <laughs> Wait a tick tock. On second thought, be nice in the slammer while reading a good book, my dear. <laughs> All right, you two, move along. Bring more in. Now. 
Marina, what just happened? Was I dreaming? Was that real? Maybe it was because I lived through the 70s. <laughs> 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 well, I guess we should get this one. Oh, good afternoon. Hello. I didn't expect to see you again. No, I don't expect you did. Things turned out a bit different than we thought. Oh? Yes. Once we started reading, Timmy put his phone down and... And then he gives his friends other than in Cherokee. He pounded a sir. Such a bunch of tearing coin. So Cherokee manages to close the jaws of white white things through. The thing tries to shake him off. But he doesn't have strength. He stumbles to the ground. He's awesome. Oh, that's right. I love this book. <laughs> really? Yes, he wouldn't put it down. He got an A on his book report. Oh, that is so nervous. How do you like that? We fall off places, daring sword fights, magic spells, a prince in the skies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. I never thought he enjoyed doing anything other than playing games on his phone. You see, books are so much more than nice covers, and books are like your imagination. Oh, can I read this one? Oh, that is a wonderful, wonderful book. Yes. He takes down the ogre and runs off into the woods, barely escaping his very life. Him, being a daring swordsman, he returns to the forest in search of his main fair, knowing she's in great danger. He is fully aware she's frightened. She's all alone, or so she thinks. Exhausted from her escape, the frank princess press for a moment to catch her breath, when suddenly she hears behind her the crackling of twigs as something is rapidly approaching. There's no place to hide, she says aloud to herself. <laughs> How will I ever find my way home? Never fear, I have come to rescue you. I have fought off trolls, slashed an ogre to the ground, and defeated the dragon while in search for you. My prince. You've come to save me! And with that, they had found each other, and the kingdom was restored, and they all lived happily ever after. That was fun! Can we read another one? You see, books are so much more than nice covers, and they really can come to life. You just have to open them. Oh, my God.